Okay, let's do a snag video for Taylor Wimpy. It's our first morning here. And we're gonna do snag one, which is the front door. Look, it just, it's not closing to close it. You really, really, oh my God. Yeah, that's not right. Snag number one. Leading to snag two. Which is these, all around the door both sides. I'm not entirely sure if that's a snag or if it could be done better. So snag two around the door frame. So kitchen drawer the one just below the hob. It doesn't close properly. It's meant to be soft close. It's Look. stuck right there. Yeah. I think it just needs to be adjusted so because I think it's getting caught at the top. Yeah. You can feel that it wants to go in. Yep. But it just gets caught, cool, I think. Yeah. Snag number three. Okay, snag four is around this drain in the lead up to the garage. As you can see, the brick is cracked. Uh, second brick is cracked. Just looks really shoddy, if I'm honest, compared to the others that we've seen. And it shouldn't be cracked straight away. Obviously, they're not, uh, I don't know, I'm not an expert, but it needs to be fixed, right? Snag five is the sealant around the frame of the garage. So I think what's happened is Taylor Wimpy replaced this garage door, but they haven't sealed it. It goes right the way across. So yeah, snag four and five. Okay, we're back here in the kitchen. It's not really a snag as such, it's just really tatty job at the top of the cupboard the electrics how it's been left so that's definitely on the list of snags and if we come back on ourselves these light fittings you can see they're loose the seal's not right and they literally just spin uh, these two so I can't remember what snag that's on but yeah in the kitchen light light Tatty job up there, drawer does not close. On to the next snag. Three. So another snag is the banister. I'm not sure how this camera will pick it up, but it's rough, it's not been painted correctly, so and it's mahoosive, it's massive, it's quite an obvious one. So mm. that is another snag. Okay, we're in the master bedroom into the ensuite. And I can't put the light on because it won't show. But yeah, this light up here, um, you know, some stuff for this on the light, and I don't think it's flush. Uh, it's certainly not fitted how it should be. So that's another snag right there. Alrighty then, into the spare bedroom, and Jen's noticed an issue with this window. You open it. Yeah. And you close it. Oh, I don't like it. Oof, Jesus. Yeah. It sounds it's like, like it snaps. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna yeah, fall like, out. Don't do okay, it again. So I'm not gonna. Nope. That's gonna stay, stay closed until Taylor MP have yeah, a look at it. Stay like that. Yep. Up next is the family bathroom and the toilet which I can't really sit on and the reason why is the rad is way too close when I sit down my knees are about up to that like I can't sit on a toilet properly if I want to sit on it it's got to be sideways I don't think that's right having a look at the space I believe this should have been much 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 further over this side is when you close the door up to where the max it can go which is right there the whole rad can easily have gone much right away over and it wouldn't have hit this door and I could sit on the toilet properly how you're supposed to sit on a toilet and I'm only six foot by the way so I'm not exactly a beast we are back downstairs, instead of going to the kitchen, we are going into the downstairs WC, after I put the light on, for this blue stain. 
it's not to, oh sorry it's uh yeah and you can see the waters around the bottom i don't know if it's not sealed or what you might be thinking oh yeah that's just you know that'll come off it don't trust me i've scrubbed the heck out of it that goes nowhere toothbrush wipes the lot and water still continues to come from um come from the top uh the tap you know what i mean so we're still in the downstairs toilet. This here is a, chip, a huge chip, it's massive. And there's another one, yeah, just there. It looks like, it looks like the toilet's been dragged on its side before it was installed. That's how it appears. And if we carry on, in fact, let's go upstairs to the ensuite. Back in the family ensuite, you know the one where the toilet's so close to the rad, rad so close to the toilet. This is uh, odd, it's not straight, it's, it's been done like almost sideways, practically how I sit on the toilet. And the actual sink, it's going to be hard on uh, this camera, it's, uh, it's right here but it has a nasty chip, so wonkiness chip. Hey, it's nice to be outside, but we've noticed, and I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but from the top of my finger there to approximately here, all of this is deep scratches. Yeah, that needs replacing. So, coming out into the garden, this is quite a, a concerning one, it's certainly a, a big one, which is uh, the render on the property. Now the camera might not do it justice, but they are white streaks all the way down and then underneath every window is like a solid that's almost like how it should look so underneath the window that's how it should look white streaks and it's the same theme for every single window now it's obviously bone dry but let me come closer on the, there's very obvious streaks and if we come it's, it's literally everywhere it looks like it's just not been rendered properly painted properly whatever the I don't know, right terminology is. If you look on the side, it's gonna be difficult with my camera because I'm using my phone, but there's like a, a line that goes right away across, and then you can see it all the way down. It's just very obvious that, I don't know, needs another layer of paint or whatever it is that needs to be done, but it's not right. So of the 17 snags that we reported straight away within those seven days to Taylor Wimpy, 15 have been completed. We're just waiting for the date for the rendering uh, to come back and get that complete. But one of those snags is in dispute. And it's a bit of a back and forward via email with Taylor Wimpy to get it fixed. We have uh, two coming round, hopefully over the next couple of weeks to uh, give a final say, are they gonna fix it or not? And I'd love for you guys to comment with which snag that you've already seen in this video is in dispute with Taylor Wimpy. I'll give you a clue, it's upstairs. Oh, come on! Oh. We hope our snag so far hasn't put you off buying a new build. Taylor Wimpy, to their credit, have been pretty decent. Only one or two things. You gotta keep on top of it though. Keep up with the emails. Never do negotiations of any kind verbal. Always have it in writing. Especially when they say they're gonna come and fix something you want a date and you want it in writing So everything's there and nice and transparent anyway, I digress moving on to the warranty side of things And that is a huge selling point to us So for the first two years from the date of legal completion Taylor Wimpy covers any physical damage or defect to your home caused by a faulty workmanship or materials but What about the three to ten years? Well, you covered under the NHBC, which ensures you against the full cost of putting right any physical damage to your home caused by a structural defect in any of the specified parts of the building. That's all part of the build mark warranty. And if you're slightly confused, don't worry, there's loads more information on the NHBC website. In summary, for those 10 years, structurally, you're pretty much covered. Now, I want to briefly talk about what the warranty does not cover. Here we go. Accidental damage. This is damage caused by storms. Or accidentally by negligence, abuse or poor maintenance of the property or appliances. 
also includes blockages caused by inappropriate disposal of waste. Cosmetic defects. So, any cosmetic defects such as scratches, chips, or marks that haven't been reported within seven days of legal completion. Get ready, okay? This includes decoration, flooring, tiling, textured ceilings, kitchen units, fitted bedroom and bathroom furniture, worktop, sinks, sanitary wear appliances, glass, and other similar items. <laughs> Jesus. Basically, guys, when you move into your new build, go around that property and find anything and everything, scratches, defects, the whole lot. Those seven days are vital. Thank you for watching our Snags video. Please don't let it put you off. It's to be expected with any new build. In fact, any home. So with that being said, come back for the next episode where Jen is gonna give you the latest house tour and you can see what we've done so far since being in our property. It's all coming up on Get Binky.